Hello everyone. Today I am going to give you a quick overview of how to install an ADSL connection using the Prolink H5004 NK ADSL router and the SLT telephone line connection. Basically, uh, this is what we are purchasing from uh, the SLT. Uh, this box contains all the uh, equipment uh, essential for establishing the wireless connection and uh, the bottom side of uh, this box has a diagram of uh, how to set up the uh, contents accordingly. If you see inside the uh, ADSL router, uh, then the uh, power adapter and the mini port, then uh, RJ45 cable and uh, RJ11 uh, connector. So, if we have a look again, uh, what we have inside this box, we have the router, then uh, we have this uh, microfilter, this is a microfilter, and uh, you can name it as a splitter, then uh, you may get this uh, telephone cable or the RJ11 cable, then the network cable or RJ45 cable to connect the uh, PC or your laptop to the mode, uh, to, to the wireless router. What I have at home is uh, this Roset box. Usually the telephone connects from here, here and we have the telephone line from uh, this process box but uh, when we are connecting uh, this uh, router what we have to do is we have to remove this telephone cable or the RJ11 cable from the telephone and instead of that we are going to put this uh, microfilter or the splitter into the Rosette port now we have this and what we are doing is we are putting uh, the telephone line in to the phone port and then we have another phone cable we got with the router package box so we are going to uh, we are going to put this RJ11 telephone cable into the other port left. Now our telephone is working as well as we have another RJ11 cable that goes. here to the router's phone in. Now the other cable we have in hand is RJ45 cable or the Ethernet cable. What we are doing is uh, in this router and uh, with the service provider SLT they have uh, different uh, combination of uh, settings for these ports. Uh, because of that you have to consider that uh, the port number uh, LAN port LAN port 4 has been reserved for uh, the POTV connection LAN port 4 because of that we have to use uh, other three ports so what I do is usually uh, because I get messed up with this LAN port 4 what I use is this uh, LAN port uh, 2 or 3. It's easier for me to remi remem remember the uh, connection. So I'll fix uh, this to LAN port 3 and the net network cable being connected to the router. Now I am going to connect this other end of the RJ45 cable into the 
network port of my laptop this is the power adapter and I have to connect this power adapter to the plug and then I'm going to connect this power jack into the power in of the modem now the modem is being set and now I have uh, plugged in the power adapter to the power outlet and the power jack to the modem to the router now I'm going to give the power to the router first the power button blinks few minutes as red afterwards it turns into, gr into green for the first time when we are starting the modem it takes uh, some time to start up as well as that the INT indicator the INT indicator usually blinks as red because the router hasn't configured yet because of that we are seeing the INT internet indicator in red color blinking for few seconds still the router starting up After connecting and switching on the router, you have to uh, configure the router software by accessing its uh, server page. For that, you have to uh, use a default web browser, Chrome, Mozilla, Safari, or any browser available. What you have to do is you have to type the default IP of the router. 192.168.1.1 to access the default router page then you may get the router login for the login page you have to uh, give the username and the password the default username for the login page is admin lowercase a d m i n and the password is password P A S S W O R D by default. Then you are accessing the uh, router page, router software. Then what you have to do is you have to uh, go to the quick setup section. Then quick setup se section. Uh, then you have to select the fix setup tab and you have to uh, give the username provided by the SLT as the username at the uh, fix setup uh, login section so usually uh, this comes as uh, at symbol and uh, SLT BB then you have to insert the given password from the uh, service provider or the SLT whatever the password then you have to give the uh, name for the wireless network this may be uh, anything you prefer whatever then you have to consider that uh, you have to keep the channel number as auto then the encryption as WP2 AES WPA authentication mode as personal pre-shared key pre-shared key format should be password 
then the uh, then what you have to uh, give is for the pre shared key you have to give a password more than eight character alphanumeric password uh, that protects your wireless lan network then what you have to do is you have to press submit and this may take some time uh, to save the configuration before before that you can uh, save these configurations uh, by uh, click the save button on your left hand side and then what you have to go uh, and see is the uh, setup tab when you go to the setup section you may find the wan configuration section in this section you you find default route selection uh, you have to put, uh, keep it as uh, ticket as auto then uh, vpi as 8 vci as uh, 36 encapsulation as uh, llc and the channel mode should be uh, 1483 bit keep the other values as default and you have to uh, you have to modify these uh, details then uh, this may take uh, 10 minutes uh, or uh, some short time to uh, make the settings activated after uh, the router being started and uh, took the configurations properly you can uh, start uh, type any internet address as uh, yahoo yahoo or any other website if the configurations been given properly you may see the web browser with the web page loaded in if the router being configured properly the browser will load the page and then you have to configure the wireless connection thank you very much for watching and please visit www.vivijayajivira.com for more details you require this has more configuration details and you may able to configure your modem you may find lot of interesting things as well as configuration details movie reviews and many other feel free to visit my website and my blog site vijayavira.com thanks a lot for watching my video